Hey, what's up guys? Tony here. And what you're watching, of course, is some Battlefield 3, but what you're watching is Battlefield 3 from the Xbox. And I think this is the first time that I'm actually bringing Battlefield 3 footage from the Xbox on my channel. And it's not from a lack of uh, wanting to play Battlefield 3. It's just that a lot of uh, all my friends, because I'm a primarily a PS3 player, like you guys know, all my friends are on the PlayStation. So uh, the only people, the only person, I should say, that I've been playing on the Xbox with is Chris, Fake Thriller. But um, we did a, a live stream one time, or he did a live stream that I was a part of, and I picked up, I don't know, a handful of, say a handful, it was like a lot of people from the live stream sent me friends requests. And um, one guy in particular, um, the Feebo, one, two, three, at the bottom, you'll see him third uh, on the squad list. Um, he and I got to talking, so I'm gonna try to play a little bit more on the Xbox. It's gonna be hard because I have a hard enough time playing, you know, and, and getting content out regularly right now. Um, so it's gonna be hard enough for me to get on and and play a lot on the Xbox. But I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to do it more often, and uh, and kind of go from there. But this particular game, um, I'm obviously a low level. You know, you can see that I have nothing, pretty much nothing for the M16. Um, but I I just like went total beast mode on this game. And this is the pitfalls of being a YouTube commentator, is the fact that sometimes shit goes wrong. And I recorded um, the entire game, but I had to break it up to 30 minute segments because uh, my, for whatever reason, my HTTP VR does not like to uh, record longer than 30 minutes and process it out. Usually it'll like cut it off at like 35 or 40 minutes. But what I didn't know is that my HDP VR was running, or not my, HD, my my external hard drive was running out of memory, and I ran out of memory. So this is all I have, 17 minutes. So I had to go through and clean up my hard drive just so I could make videos again. Because, well, I have like, poof, geez, I have over 100 gigs worth of Battlefield 3 footage that I, I just need to get rid of. And that's just kind of the way it is. So um, I can't remember my final score. It was like 87 and something. I'm going to put a still image um, from Battlelog up uh, at the end of the video so you guys can see. I'm really proud of this. This is like one of those, like, I really wish I had the whole game so I could show the whole game because it was like epic night of, of, of playing, you know? But um, also what I want to talk about is beyond just that is just kind of quickly... Um, what here's the thing is having a channel like I have is I need to always constantly be coming up with uh, things to talk about and at, after a while it gets hard because you talk about a lot I talk about a lot of things and so developing new ideas um, sometimes is hard and I noticed that there is this growing um, like a trend or there's a growing fascination with uh, live streaming and let's plays and I come from like a very old school sort of approach to gaming where uh, I don't, I just don't think that people would find it fun to watch a video of me playing and um, my reactions to the game, like a you know like a live com or like a let's play. Um, I, I think that the way that I sort of perceive my channel is that what I have to say is is what's important. And the, the video commentary is just there to supplement and um, provide sort of visual stimulation to um, assist what I have to say. And that's kind of the way that I've approached my, my channel. But the thing is, like I was saying, it gets hard to constantly come up with new ideas and develop these ideas and, and, and make commentary. So you've noticed like, like I did the, you know, I'm doing the process of doing the road trip with the bowls um, because it's, it's, quote like easy videos to put out you know and uh, and, it, it, and I have a level of quality that I want to maintain and that's why I like doing these planned commentaries this one's unplanned but it, uh, it's thought something that I've been thinking about because I went to GameStop today and I know some people hate GameStop but uh, I picked up a new <coughs> excuse me I picked up a new controller and I picked up two games and I'm in this process of repurchasing games that I traded in to um, sustain my channel because the way that I would do business and I make I hate making that sound like a business but the way that I would go about my uh, my game inventory is that I'd buy a game and if I played it and I liked it um, that I'd hold on to it for a while but inevitably what I would do is I would trade it in 
So what I'm finding is that my my game variety was very very small. You know, I'd have four or five games. So the last I don't know month month and a half, I've sort of been going out and buying the used copies of games that I used to enjoy playing. And so what I did is I um, I picked up uh, Crisis Two. Um, and I picked up um, the Ghostbusters game. Now, Crisis 2, I, I played and I beat. Ghostbusters game, I always wanted to buy, but I never I never got around to buying it. And I also picked up um, Star Wars, uh, The Force is Unleashed, The Force Unleashed 2. I, I never actually played it. It's a game I always wanted to play, but it, I never got a chance to play it. And I think I might have mentioned that in the, uh, the GameSpeak podcast. But here's the thing that I want to bring up, is that I've been asked multiple times if I live stream, and I always say no because one, I don't, and then two, because I just don't think that anybody would find that entertaining. So what I want to ask you guys, as the viewers, would you want to see like a complete Let's Play? Like I've started Let's Plays before, but again, because I come from that sort of old school mentality about people watching me play and just sort of my reaction to the game, I don't think that would be entertaining, so I, I've never really stuck to my guns to finish an entire Let's Play. So, I mean, if you wanted to see a Let's Play of, say, like, the Star Wars game, or maybe Crisis 2, because Crisis 2 is a game I'm going to play all over again, um, or Ghostbusters, because that's a game I haven't even played yet, so that might be kind of a fun little thing, since I've never played it. But if but if you're interested in that, then I think, um, let me know in the comment section if you want to see, like, a Let's Play of one of those three games, and I will seriously, like, dedicate myself to doing it from start to finish, um, just because... I, it, it's nice to add variety to the channel. So the live comms and like that single game montage that were really fun to do, um, and it's nice to switch it up. And it takes the load off my back because honestly, after a while, like I said, it gets a little tough to come up with new ideas, new things to talk about. You know, and I've got I don't know several hundred videos, maybe three hundred or something. I have to look now. But for those people who have you know thousands of videos, I have no idea how they keep it up. I know that I would I would have a hard time, and sometimes you watch their videos and they're and, and you know they're just kind of like rambling about something, and that's that's definitely something that I don't want to do. I don't want to be that guy who just constantly rambles about nothing, you know, and just puts out video content for the sake of putting out content. I like to put out stuff that is thought provoking or something that we can have a discussion about. Usually, um, you know, I've had a variety of, of topics. Um, uh, and I try to always relate them to whatever whatever it is that I'm actually playing. So like baseball and football and sports games are really easy to do that too. Um, the ones, the like say Battlefield and Call of Duty, those are the ones that you can get into like more personal flair. But anyways, I don't want to make this any longer than it already is. Um, but let me know in the comment section, like I said, if you want to see um, like a let's play all the way through of any one of those games. Or maybe if there's a game that you think I should play and you, you would enjoy seeing it, um, then maybe I can... Uh, if, you know, money permitting, uh, I can go out and uh, pick it up. So, anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll talk to you later.